Okay, so basically I'm just going to show how to change the history on the git history. And what I'm going to be trying to do is just automatically adding fixes to this commit, but then uh, only squashing them at the end. Very useful when you're collaborating with the backend and the backend throws commits in the middle and then you just want to squash them all together, right? So I'm just going to forge um, something. I'll be doing some changes here to the file. Um, so it's a little different now. I'm going to be doing a good show to see what you've changed. Right. Right. So say that you wanted to change something to branch is just doesn't make sense, but just for the sake of, of example, right? So you have this, this diff and now I want to add that change, right? So I add that file right, to the to staged. And now instead of writing a commit message, I can just fix up, right? And I'm gonna need the hash of the commit. So give me just a second. So I'll copy the hash of the commit. And now instead of writing a commit message, I'll be writing git commit, fix up, and then the hash of the commit, right? So what he did, he created an, a commit that has the word fix up at the beginning, and then the same message as the title of the of the original commit. Now we can do other things. Let's say that the backend change the backend changed something. It and now you went ahead and you wanted to do no. This is actually uh, another change. I'm just faking changes just for the sake of argument. Now, I don't even have to think about uh, what I wrote, what to write as a commit message, because I can just like git commit, search back into history. Sorry. Ah, what am I doing? Right, use the same command that I used before, exactly the same, because that hasn't changed yet. So I'll just commit fix up, and now the history will be this fix up that I wrote earlier and this commit that I wrote now. And I have a backend commit in the, in the middle, right? So now what I want, I want to rebase them all and I want to squash this and this into Samantha's original commit, right? So I'll grab the hash of the previous commit, hit rebase minus I, give the hash that I'm going to be rebasing on and give the command auto squash. So as you can see, automatically the commits are already in order, right? The, he it git pulled the the two la, the two commits up to the to the one we're gonna wa wanna merge, and already changed from pick to fix up. So all I have to do here just revise, make sure that everything makes sense, and carry on. I don't even have to do anything else, right? And now when I look at the history, I have the backend commit. And I have the original commit with the two changes that I j just done merged into that one. Let's see, is this? It doesn't have the backend change because that's a separate commit, right? So this was the two changes that I had done. I first added is, and then I added this. So they're all now in the same commit. And I could just then push force, which I won't do because it's just for example. <laughs> Okay, so that's basically it. Um, yeah, thank you.